Ranch dressing seems like such a basic ingredient, would you call it? No, it's not an ingredient. It's a food group, at least in my opinion it is. When I had to go dairy-free, I don't know how long it's been, 10 plus years ago, I was an extremely intense, creamy dressing fan. I would never do a vinaigrette. I would never do anything that didn't have some sort of mayonnaise based in it. And blue cheese was my absolute favorite. And then Thousand Island was good and creamy French and the, the list went on and on. And vinaigrettes were all the way at the bottom. And then I find myself dairy free because my body's like, no, no more dairy. I can't handle it anymore. And so I'm eating vinaigrettes and I didn't know what to do with myself. And before that, I didn't even really eat ranch dressing. I didn't think it was all that good. And then I stumbled upon this recipe for dairy-free ranch dressing. And I'm like, oh, this could be what I need in my life. I'm, I'm missing creamy dressings. So I made it and I haven't stopped making it since. I think it's been eight years now. I make it once a week, I put it on everything, and now I am the biggest ranch fan in the world. And now I'm gonna show you how to make it. It's so easy. So the recipe I stumbled on was really, really good, but it, you know, I think I made it five or six times and I'm like, eh, it needs more, it needs more. So I've been playing with this recipe for quite some time, but the version I have now, I say is I, I'm done with it. I've got my herbs and my spices and all the balance I want, and I find it to be really, really good. Now you may decide to add something different, perfectly fine. I know Rich likes to take some of the ranch and add some hatched chilies to it, or he'll add some chili powder and he'll make his own version. And since I don't do spicy, then I don't partake of that. So this is gonna be, consider this delicious in itself or a base for whatever creation you wanna make. So the recipe is in the description below and I have all of my ingredients. I've got my mise en place together. Uh, my cashew milk, salt, pepper, my herbs, my spices, and there is my mayonnaise in the jar, which is the most, in my opinion, because I love mayonnaise and believe it needs to be its own food group, um, the most important ingredient is in the bowl already. So the key to this recipe that makes it so good and tangy is the cashew milk and the bit of vinegar that you add to it. So what we're doing, because we're dairy-free, we can't have buttermilk, which is a main ingredient in ranch dressing. We're making our own faux buttermilk. So I took the cashew milk, I used an unsweetened cashew. You can use an unsweetened soy milk, rice milk, macadamia milk, whatever plant-based milk that's dairy-free that you want to use. And I add the vinegar and you have to let it sit for at least 10 minutes. You want to stir it up and let it sit because that's when all the good not really fermentation, but I like to call it fermentation happens. That's when we start getting that sour buttermilk uh, flavor. So he, that's gonna be put in last. So we're gonna let it sit a little bit more. So I've got my mayonnaise in the bowl, and then I have my herbs, and so I'm just gonna start mixing. I've got the dill, the chives, and the parsley, and I'm gonna use my whisk and mix it up. The other secret ingredient that makes it tangy is the dry mustard sauce. And then I've got the onion powder, and garlic powder and look at that I'm just splashing it all over the place and it is not garlic salt it is garlic powder that's a very important point here so I'm mixing it up really really well I told you this is super easy and now I'm ready to add my secret magical milk now if you want a thicker more like a dip don't use all this milk you'll still have a really good flavor but if you want it to be a little bit thinner like a dressing then go ahead and use it all now i'm going to mix it up you have to be careful when you when you're whisking if you put it all in at one time you'll just have a whole bunch of liquid that goes all over the place so i am pretty well mixed so i'm going to put the rest of it in and you're going to want to whisk really well to get it all incorporated Okay, this is really good for exercise and uh, building the, the muscles in your forearm. Okay, that looks pretty good, but we don't know it's good until we taste. I can't stress enough how important it is to taste as you go. Okay, so here we go, I'm going in. Oh, that is oh, just the creamy mayonnaise, the, the herbaceousness from the herbs, and then that bite from the vinegar and the mustard. Oh my goodness, but it is missing two things little bit of salt and pepper. And this is gonna be your choice, how much you wanna put in. That's why you have to taste it. Taste before, taste after. Okay, so I'm gonna mix up my salt and pepper. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna taste again. Now I am double dipping, cause I'm the only one eating this, but you may not wanna double dip in your house. Oh, there we go. The salt brought out the flavors 
made them even more bright, and the pepper added a little bit of depth. Okay, so now the ultimate test. I've got a carrot, we've got a piece of celery. My favorite things to dip in ranch dressing. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh my God. I would eat carrots and celery all day, every day, if I could dip it in vast amounts of ranch dressing. But since I really try to live a life of moderation in my food, I don't eat quite that much. Okay, let's check the, I'm sure this is gonna be great, but I gotta try. Okay, equally as good. Very good, this is a good batch. Now, ranch dressing isn't just for salads or dipping veggies into, you can put it on anything. Matter of fact, in 2016, it was the base, a pizza sauce base for a pizza competition, a worldwide pizza competition of which I won. So you can use ranch dressing for anything. I love it on pizza, especially if you're dairy free, you want a creamy pizza sauce and this is the perfect thing. It's really you know, hard to find one that is dairy free. So pizza, vegetables, let's see what else. I dip chips into it. I, I think I've done everything but like a cookie. I wouldn't eat it with a cookie or anything sweet, but anything savory goes with ranch dressing. And believe me, I never thought I'd be saying these words after years of going, ew, ranch dressing, I don't see the point. But here I am. Okay, so thank you very much. May go home, make your, your home, but go make your own ranch dressing, enjoy it. If for other recipes, um, check out the rest of the channel. If you like this, uh, subscribe, please. Also check out our website, gfexplorers.com. We have mix, uh, mixes for pizza crust, cookies, baguettes, and more, and tons of recipes. Until next time, thanks so much.